Hey guys, welcome to Poor Man Mods. Today, I'm going to show you how to make subframe connectors, but not for this, or this, but for that. No, not that. That, right there. No. Turn around, it's right there, the black bar. That, the, that. the grill? No. Up. There you go. Okay. But, uh, we got some pipe. Um... It's going to connect from one side of the subframe to the other, and we already crunched one end, and you're going to see why I crunched it in. And this requires no welding. Yeah, no welding. Which is good, because not everyone has a welder. Yeah. Totally. Dude. <laughs> so, like, this one time, I was, like, making subframe connectors, and I was like, dude. What am I doing? So I like sat there. Are <laughs> you still recording? Yeah. Oh jeez. That's gonna we'll make the episode. Uh, Alright. Okay. Alright, so what are we doing under here? Um my head's bleeding, but uh we're working in the driveway because my cars are taking up the drive or the garage. Because so. they're birds. No, because we're making them fast. So, faster than they already were. But, anyway, we have to uh, shimmy ourselves on the rocks. And we have to <laughs> measure days. this bolt to this bolt. And it is... Um... 22 and 5 eighths so it's always good to have some material on each end maybe like an inch so we'll make it 24 and a half can you plug that in now please yeah all right so you guys may be wondering how we're going to make this work without welding anything what we're going to do we're going to crush one of the ends and put it under the bolts that you just saw so to crush it Get in this vise here. No heat or anything is required. This vise can bend it just fine with a little bit of elbow grease. And don't accidentally keep your skin in there because you'll pinch the skin off. And then you'll cry. Has there ever been an injury on the poor man mod episode where there's blood or crying ever? Not that's been recorded. <laughs> that's it. That's all she wrote. Now I'll just get a hammer and now, flatten that out. Yeah. I'm sweating. That's a beautiful piece of something. Yeah. Nice. We changed the mind where we want to mount the pipe to the chassis, so we had to cut another piece of pipe and make it longer, but it's the same exact thing we showed you earlier. Now we're ready to drill our hole and we marked it off and we have a drill press, so here we go. Okay, we drilled the holes. Uh, we sanded it down, sandpaper, wiped it down, denatured alcohol, so it's all clean for paint. We're in the painting booth now. We're getting ready to paint it. And the poor man mod paint booth, not actual paint booth. I just don't want to have any kind of risk. This takes me back to the model building days. We definitely don't want this room. It's so windy. All right, so we got this baby sprayed. It's red. It's the same color as the strut bar that I made in episode one. And now this baby is going to go on the car. And what we did, to come over here, we got extended bolts. And we're going to put a bolt here, a nut here, and a nut on the underside of the car and this is going to be fully adjustable so it will fit almost any exhaust and this whole thing cost us 
about twenty dollars with hardware and this pipe. Well, you bought too much hardware. So. Way too much hardware, but I'm including the cost of the pipe. The pipe was free, but uh -huh. it, it's like six bucks or whatever. So let's put this thing on the car. All right. So what we got going on here? We got the bolt, and then we got a lock nut. Then on the other side, another lock nut, and then another lock nut on the subframe, and then a washer. And this is fully adjustable. You can make it as high or as low as you want on here. And Mark is installing the other side. And once we get it on, we're going to fine tune it, and then it's done. All right, we're done. We got everything bolted up. The paint got a little scuff from a bunch of uh, our hands all over it, but it's oh, well. fine. So Mike's car is a little bit more stiff. <laughs> it handle pretty good. Oh yeah, and this is fully adjustable for height, no matter what size your exhaust is. Since so if you get these long bolts and you use these nuts to lock it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. So this was a $20 fully adjustable subframe connector, right? Yep. Was it fun? Yeah. Was it easy? Yes. Ed, did we grind stuff off that we didn't need to grind? Yeah. <laughs> but if you ever decide to get a tube bender or something, and it'll be flush with the underneath the car, and yeah, we gr it's gonna fit underneath there pretty good, and then just get a bar. We, or, what am I saying? We grinded all this off because we thought we needed to. But yeah, you don't. But we didn't need to. If you ever get a bent pipe to clear the exhaust pipe, that grinding we did will come in handy. Definitely. And this has clearance. The exhaust will not hit it up or down, whatever. Won't rattle. It's beautiful. Alright, bye.